Hello again, this is Bobbert, and I'm going to today do a review on the game Super Mario Bros. 3 Super Mario Advance 4 for the Game Boy Advance, as the title suggests. Now, this one is, for all those who have the game, different has a different cover than the one that you, that is more common in the United States, it's because I conveniently ordered mine from Australia. Don't ask. Anyway, comparing it, comparing it to a normal Game Boy Advance game, as you can see, this one is the normal one, and this is the this is the American one, American version. This is the other one. It's got a this one has a bigger, like this part that you pull it out with. It's a lot bigger, well not a lot, but it makes it's there's a difference. The American one's bigger. This one. On the back, the um, this one it says AGB model number AGB002, and this one model number AGB033. Did I get it? So you actually, read it. There we are. Yeah. So another problem is. They're different in the contacts are slightly different. As you can see, the one this one is the Australian one. It has a hole in the middle. Uh, I'm not sure what that does, but anyway, it's different. So when I put it in my system, I have my typical fat DS. Uh, when I put it in there, it's difficult to get it to work. Now I will show you the gameplay and. It's, the gameplay is no different from the American version, for all I know. Okay, I'm just going to stick this in there. Just kind of plunk it down. And just so you can see this green. Not too much reflection. Okay, here we are. Nintendo DS. Yeah. I'm so up to date, I got the second. Newest one, let's see this one down here. Yeah. Game Boy Advance. You know you can't really see that very well. Turn off that light. That might help. Okay. Here it says that save data is corrupted. But of course everything's just fine. It's got this cool little introduction, and while you watch that, I'll close the blinds. Hey, in this one, oh my god, the storyline's different. Peach didn't get captured. That happens so often. Okay, so Luigi's like, uh, what am I gonna do? Anyway, he just got like a little secret love there. Then you got your typical Mario Bros. 3. Okay, single player. Yeah, the original Mario Bros. 3 introduction. Sorry about those lines on my screen. Too bad. You're gonna just not do that. Bad. Whoa. Oh crap. What is going on there? Yeah, let's go like that. Let's start a new file. We've got Mario and Mario and Luigi. I pick Mario because I don't feel like playing with Luigi. He's not nice. We've got our typical Mario world. It's 
but you have the voice animations added with Mario saying what to go and oh mama me and all that stuff when he dies and he the mushroom says gotcha and, like, and that has similar sound effects or voice animation sound effects as Mario Advance 2 which I am loaning to a friend so I can't show you the comparison It's basically just Mario Bros. 3 from here on. When you die, oh, mia. he says Mamma Mia after the. instead of just the do 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 thing. So, anyway, that's just a basic example of the gameplay. After playing this game, I looked back at all the other Mario games, later released Mario games that I've played and noticed how many references there are. I mean, this game is one of the best Mario games. It's got so many references in the uh, newer games. And in fact, another game, New Super Mario Bros. It's an awesome game. It's basically just this game, except with a few extra features. It has similar music, similar controls. It's just similar, except for the storyline. Listen to the music. Don't watch how bad the eye is. Don't watch how bad the eye is. in your head. Listen for it. That part. Yeah. Yeah. Now, listen to this. My balls, now I'm cool. Okay, now when I get to the boss, listen to the music. You hear it? There it is again. Test. This is the easiest boss ever. There's the comparison. Oh my god, no one's there. 